there's no better way to start a new month than to celebrate the integrity of the chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, a man of honor who served diligently at Goldman Sachs, earned millions of dollars, partnered with such vital members of our government, like Senator Elizabeth Warren, and has been a true blessing for the retail investing public. But in all seriousness, I pity the fool. Happy April Fool's Day. We're going to look at what Chair Gensler's been up to, the shenanigans he and his cronies are perpetrating, and what they'll be speaking about at this conference starting tomorrow. And perhaps if it's something you're interested in, we can listen to together. And Sam Bankman fried speaking of other fools in the crypto community, speaks out on his sentencing and how he feels that what he was doing, and this is crazy, he thought it was not illegal. And when I first read this, I thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it is indeed what he released as part of some of his earlier uh, commentary to the media just this morning. So we'll dive into that as well. But if we haven't met before, my name's Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. All right, let's take a quick look at the market. We're down just over 2% on the 24 hour at 2.6 trillion. We've been hovering around that range for a bit here. And we see that uh, Bitcoin is right around the 70K mark, still trying to hold over there, but um, has dipped slightly below. And XRP at about 61 cents. Not a lot of green on the day. And certainly the past week has been a bit rough, unless you hold Doge, which is up 15% on the last seven days. Now let's look at Sam Bankman fried because this one I thought was just laughable. He says, I never thought what I was doing was illegal. So earlier today in a report from ABC News, he said, I never thought what I was doing was illegal. I'm haunted every day by what was lost. I never intended to hurt anyone or take anyone's money. This coming after he was just sentenced to 25 years. And perhaps he'll get out on a little bit of an earlier time frame for good behavior. But still, a large sentence, not large enough for the crimes that he perpetrated. But he is going to face some justice at least. Now, it's just funny that he can't seem to comprehend that what he was doing was illegal. Certainly, defrauding investors is a crime in the U.S. and everywhere. And uh, SEC Chair Gary Gensler certainly had all this going on under his nose and didn't protect retail investors. That's why he's our fool of the day. And he will be speaking along with others tomorrow. So let me just talk about this. The Practicing Law Institute hosting the SEC Speaks in 2024. Now, this is being held tomorrow. It's a $1,000 program to get into. But there is a uh, webcast that we can follow along on if you're interested. So if you are interested in seeing this, and we'll run through what will be talked about in a second. But if you're interested, uh, drop a like on this video. If this video gets over 400 likes, I'll uh, consider streaming this tomorrow morning, but it does start really early where I'm at. So it starts at about uh, 6 a.m. or just before 6 a.m. Pacific, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So what's going to happen here is there will be uh, remarks from the director of the Division of Corporation Finance. Remember, this is uh, the division that Bill Hinman formerly led when he was at the SEC Gary Gensler is going to speak for a bit. We have remarks from Hester Peirce and others, and they'll be talking about different things happening with the SEC, how the different divisions are being run, and there'll be commentary from investor advocates as well. So let me know what you think. If it's something you want to hear more about or perhaps have me stream here, then uh, we can do that. Just make sure to drop a like on the video and that'll let me know. So it's a multi-day event. It'll be happening uh, tomorrow, which is April the 2nd, and then it continues on to uh, the 3rd. And so on the 3rd, you can see you've got Gerber Graywall, who will be uh, speaking, uh, or his representatives, rather, will be speaking from the Division of Enforcement. So you have various people on uh, his team. So deputy counsels, chief litigation counsels. Funnily enough, you don't see uh, Jorge Tenrero on the agenda or people who are being represented in the Ripple case. 
And then you have other commentary about accounting and some of the other areas where the SEC has some sway. So if you want to see more, I'll link this down in the video description for you to check out. And then um, we can check it out tomorrow together if you'd like. So uh, Gary Gensler certainly has been in a hot seat of late. Uh, if you've been following along with any of the April Fool's activities, I think the funniest account out there today, at least, is uh, Tom Emmer. So Tom Emmer, and I'm pulling this up here in the background so I can show you a few of these, uh, has been... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> posting quite a few funny comments, at least, about uh, Gary Gensler, about how he should be uh, the guy. And we'll look at some of his posts because I thought this was uh, pretty amusing. So going back to uh, the Twitter screen here, or X, uh, Tom Emmer, Gary Gensler is great for U.S. capital markets. April Fool's. <laughs> The SEC deserves more funding for crypto enforcement. The SEC is better off with Gary Gensler at the helm. The SEC is a good faith regulator. So uh, some funny posts there. I think, um, you know, we see a lot of these letters go out and we've covered them in the past. We looked at one even recently, um, but they're not going anywhere. And we still need Gary Gensler held to account. And so it's all fun and games and we can make some jokes and laugh at uh, what's happening with the SEC. But real investors are getting hurt. And uh, Gary Gensler's actions have consequences. And the fact that they continue to seek more money from Congress to be able to enforce against businesses that are actually trying to do the right thing, like Coinbase, like Ripple, uh, but not providing clear guidelines in the process, it, it's very frustrating. And as we start a new month, a new quarter here, Q2 2024, I hope that we actually see something change. I don't know that it will happen because we're in an election year, but change does need to occur, and Gary Gensler has to be held to account. We have to get some answers to the questions being asked. We have to have clarity for markets, and that's not just for crypto, but for all markets. The SEC, when you have reporting requirements to the SEC, they have to provide clear guidelines for you to be able to follow. Otherwise, everyone's left in the dark, and then you have regulation by enforcement like what we've been seeing from the SEC. So certainly, I'm hopeful for this quarter, but, you know, as we've seen in the months and quarters and years we've been here together following this, change is slow, and with Gensler at the helm, we're not going to get there quite so quickly. So I'll leave you with one more parting thought for Mr. T before I sign off. What's your prediction? Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. And certainly, that's what we feel on the retail side with Gary Gensler leading the SEC. If you found any value here, hit that subscribe button so I can keep you up to date. And as always, drop a like. If we can get this video to 400 or more likes, I will stream live uh, at least some of what's going on at that SEC Speaks. I'm curious most about what's happening with the Division of Enforcement. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me. I do truly appreciate it. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.